Clara Pickett was born October 31, 1926, in Provo, Arkansas. Shortly after, the family moved to Horatio. Clara was the middle of 11 children. Her father worked in a sawmill, and her mother stayed home and cared for the children. Horatio was a small town 60 miles north of Texarkana, population 701. Clara and her siblings were involved in school activities. Two brothers captained the football team, and Clara was a cheerleader. Go Horatio Lions! Upon graduation from Horatio High School, Clara attended Tyler Commercial College, where Marjorie Kirk, now Marjorie McMaster, was her classmate and best friend. Clara worked as a nanny to earn her room and board. The skills learned at Tyler Commercial College opened the doors for an opportunity at Letourneau Incorporated. Clara interviewed on a Friday, and on Monday she started her new job as the private secretary to the department head at the Letourneau plant. Clara grew up in a one-room country church and taught the children's class as a young woman. She always loved children. When she returned from Tyler, she joined the First Baptist Church here in Longview. She sang in the choir, attended YWA, and many of the youth programs. One day, when she and Marjorie McMaster were waiting for a ride to catch a bus to Horatio, she met the man she would one day marry. James Clark had just returned from the army, and he was sitting on the steps of his mother's home putting on his paratrooper boots. It did not take either of them long to realize that they were meant for each other. James became active at First Baptist Church, and 11 months later, on February 21, 1949, they were married in the sanctuary. Soon after, James began his studies at Kilgore College and later at East Texas Baptist College, while Clara continued her job at Letourneau. God blessed the couple with four children, two girls and two boys. Lamar was born in 1951, followed by Kathy two and a half years later. Ross came along in 1960, and their family was complete when Lynn was born in 1962. It was important to James that Clara be able to stay home and raise their children, so when she became pregnant with Lamar, she left her job at Letourneau. Today, Clara has seven grandchildren and 12 great-grandchildren. James passed away in 2017. He and Clara had been married for 68 years. James spent a number of years teaching in Longview, first in the elementary school and then at Forest Park Junior High. His last 11 years were spent teaching special education. Clara supported James by typing and helping him prepare report cards. The family loved the outdoors and took many memorable trips. One of those trips was to New Mexico to the Glorietta Conference Center, where Clara took a seminar on working with children. In 1957, Clara and James felt led to be a part of the group from First Baptist Church to plant what was then Oakland Heights Baptist Chapel. It started with 99 people meeting at the old Bramlett School Building. Each week they came early to set up and then stayed late to put everything away. Miss Clara ran the nursery. It was a joy. It was really a joy to do it. Clara spent the next 40 years caring for the children in the nursery. Our kids were exposed to Clara through the nursery. I mean, every time you'd, church doors would be opened up, you could see her smiling face down downstairs waiting to, you know, to grab a three-year-old or to grab a little one or to give somebody a hug or to share a smile with somebody or to make sure those little ones were taken care of and taken care of right. You're one of those that moms love to drop off kids to, knowing they'd come out for the better. Clara's service did not stop with the nursery. She sang in the choir, worked in vacation Bible school, fixed snack suppers for the youth, and most importantly, Miss Clara started the Mother's Day Out program at Oakland Heights. A highlight of working with children came in 1968 when the youth of OHBC sang at the World's Fair in San Antonio. Perhaps one of Clara's favorite volunteer responsibilities was serving as head cook at the Falls Creek Youth Camp. During her time there, Miss Clara had to plan all of the meals, secure all the supplies, get them to Falls Creek, and then prepare the meals for the Oakland Heights students and counselors. 
She even served our youth at Falls Creek for eight years. What a blessing that is, and that's dedication right there. To witness what you did when I was there, making it look so easy, you were a hit in the kitchen. You always helped me also with many events and needs. If food was ever a, uh, something that we needed, you were first in line to bring something and to work behind the scenes and not need the spotlight. You never demanded the spotlight. She loved every minute of it. In fact, when the pastor asked Clara into his office to tell her they would no longer be going to Falls Creek, she burst out into tears. That's one of the best places these kids are getting closer to the Lord. After 40 years of working with the children of Oakland Heights, Miss Clara retired. Her husband James had told everyone that he was tired of attending Sunday school by himself. When we asked Clara what had drawn her to a ministry with children, she quickly responded. I just love teaching and working with children. It's so rewarding. It was especially meaningful to Miss Clara when the second generation of children appeared in the nursery. She had cared for the parents, and now those children had had children of their own. Her smile and her knowledge and her, her love for the little ones, I'll tell you what, Having three sons who, you know, were all exposed to her through the nursery system here at the church. Uh, you know, having somebody else who cares about your kids is great. It's just special. She met mother, young mothers and young dads at the door of her room with a smile and a sweet spirit that sent them off knowing those children were going to be taken care of. Like all followers of Christ, Clara has had her share of tough times. In 1991, a fire tragically destroyed the home that James had designed and built. We just said that it was the Lord's will or it wouldn't have happened. When we asked Miss Clara, why is it important for the younger generation to be servants? She responded, If they don't, they're missing one of the biggest blessings in the world. You do with your time what you feel is worthwhile. I would advise these young couples to get involved. It doesn't only help the church, it helps them. Uh, you know, as far as saints go, she's just such a saint in, in regards to the whole history of our church from the beginning all the way to today. She still is concerned about our church, where it goes, how it works, what she can do for it. Uh, we're just blessed to be around that kind of a lady. She's just something special. Clara is a living example of what service means to your church. It's people like you who laid foundations so people like me could come along and build upon them. Your self-sacrifice is and was huge. When asked what advice she would share with the younger generation at Oakland Heights, Miss Clara told us. Well, you, you just gotta believe and, and study the Bible. It's important to do it because it makes a better person. It did of me, and it would of them too. It's been my life. I was drawn to anything that I did. And hope that I was doing the service. It's it's a blessing to see all of my children and their spouses. They're serving the Lord wherever they are. That was such a joy for James and me. Clara Clark is a perfect example of her favorite scripture, Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Tonight, we are pleased to honor Miss Clara Clark as our 2021 Legacy Inductee.